This video is sponsored by Babbel. More on that later. Have you ever wanted to dress like your favorite dessert? Bonjour! Time to bring some haute couture to the party. It's August, which means it's my birthday. And you know how much I love to have a theme and will take any excuse to make a silly outfit? Well, let's make a dress shaped like a cake. <laughs> And let's create a dress that's unlike anything you've ever seen, unless you live in a pretty weird place. We are bringing Moschino-inspired haute couture right to the sewing room. I absolutely love this designer. It's so much fun and craziness. This kind of stuff is what brought me back to be interested in fashion in general. I love it all. I want to make it all. <laughs> Somebody stop me. Picture this. You arrive at the party and you are the cake. Wow. Everyone will be amazed. Or at least concerned. Now you might be wondering, will this dress be edible? No, please don't eat that. Think neoprene, expanding foam, caulking, hot glue. I know it sounds like a cursed sewing project, but trust me, it's going to be an adventure. A delicious adventure. And we can expand our possibilities by exploring some seriously unusual materials. And I should probably make some matching shoes to go with it or other accessories. Why not? It's my birthday. So buckle up and let's get cooking. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Es un gâteau? Yes, gâteau means cake, but in French. Parlez-vous français? Ceci est un gâteau. In Spanish, gâteau means cat. I know it's confusing. But that's okay, because we have Babbel, our sponsor for this video. It is one of the top language learning apps in the world. It is the perfect place to learn a ton of languages at your own pace. Because let's face it, the biggest obstacle is usually finding the time and consistency, especially when you don't have enough hours in the day, like me. Necesito más tiempo. Necesito irme de vacaciones. With Babbel, you can schedule lessons in advance. And you can also fit some fun games and podcasts whenever you want. The algorithm tracks your progress. So based on that, it can suggest the most suitable exercise for your interest and your level of advancement. In short, you learn smoothly without any pressure in a natural way. E impresiona a tus amigos con tus habilidades lingüísticas. Lingüísticas. So, if you're interested, you know the drill. I've put the link in the description. That offers you 60% off and even two free live classes if you sign up today. What language do you choose? Oui, je m'appelle Ariel. And once you've become proficient with Babel, you can travel the world and leave a comment in French. Or in Spanish, but no promise. <laughs> Allez, on se remet au boulot. This is all that I have in blue neoprene. I had bought this fabric from when I was planning to make a stewardess costume from the fifth element. But this didn't come in the right color, so I never made it. I might make it someday because I love this movie, but another time. I'm going to use the pattern from the cloud dress because I know it fits me. And it's kind of simple anyway. But this fabric is kind of stretchy, so I don't think I can make a corset strong enough with this because this will be covered in cream. <laughs> I'm not sure yet, but it will probably be silicone and silicone is quite heavy, so I need more structure. So let's just start with a structure layer in cotton. Bed sheet scraps. I've made a plan. This is my plan. Wow. Now we need to add boning channels on every seam. I'm sewing straight pieces of cotton on the back of the lining and they will serve as boning channels. We have some boning channels and in those I'm going to add zip tie. I'm also adding the underwire from an old bra because I found that it really helps to keep the boobies in place. I really don't have a lot of this neoprene, so let's just be smart with the cutting. We need a big circle, a big rectangle, and all the body pieces. It's like a circle skirt, but flat. And I make a hole as big as my waist. To prevent the fabric from warping too much, I'm just making that hole an oval, oval, because I am wider from the front than I am from the side. The body pieces can be cut in the scraps and assembled just like the cotton lining. Not gonna lie, neoprene is kind of a pain to sew. There is a lot of skipping stitches. I don't think I got the hang of it yet, but it looks fine if you don't look inside. Here are the pieces on the mannequin. It still reads very fifth elements. I love it. This is so fun. The lining is sewn at the top. Ignore my finger, I burnt myself on the iron. Yes, I'm stupid. 
and the skirt is basically a cylinder. I'm just sewing the long rectangle all around the circle. It's in a few pieces because I didn't have enough fabric. We will hide that later. I'm sewing two gros grain ribbons, uh, gros grain. They will serve as two long bodying channels to support the skirt. It's basically a crinoline, but ugly. And the holes for the waist is sewn to the bodice. Adding a simple zipper in the back so I can actually get into the cake. Then I can add the boning into the channel and we have a dress, I guess. If you think it looks ridiculous now, <laughs> you're not ready for the result. Next step, the goo. Is there a filter on? So I'm just a pile of sunscreen and sweat. Anyways, now I have to figure out all the different creamy parts of the dress and I have to buy some kind of product that I managed to turn into a believable cake. Let's go to the hardware store. They might even have air conditioning there. Oh, yes. Materials have been acquired. Cherries! They are fake, they're just plastic, but how perfect is that? And they weight nothing. You have to look very, very close to realize that they are fake. Perfect. And you know how much this cost me? 50 cents. Yeah. At the hardware store, I got some... Uh, they were the two cheapest. I'm gonna try which one works best because maybe that will be too much weight for the dress. We'll see. I also got this uh, insulation foam, which is great for a whole lot of crafting situations. These are leftover sealants from my garage and the goods. The baking box with all the accessories. Papier cuisson. Okay, let's try to do some baking. I have never done any kind of cake decorating, so please don't judge me too hard on this. Okay, so these are kind of cute. I think they will be better if I use a smaller tip, like maybe this one. These are nice compared to this one. These ones are... Ah! These ones are better. The silicone is actually much thicker than the cream that you are supposed to put in this tool. So it gets tricky because you have to squeeze really hard, but also that makes it harder to be precise. You know how when you are baking it smells all nice? Not here. This is just testing, but for now, I'm very skeptical I can get a nice result. We'll see. Bonjour! It is the next day. The foam pieces are cured. It is very hard, but also extremely light. The cherry worked perfectly. I'm so happy about this and you can take them off the paper easily. But it breaks, so I can't use that on the whole thing. Testing. But still it's fun and it reads whipped cream, so I'm really happy about this. I just think that the color needs to be adjusted, so I'm going to paint them in white. Okay, this is absolutely awesome. Look at the stretch. It's strong, it keeps all the detail, and I can bend it where, however I want. I'm so happy about this. And now we need to decide how we are actually going to decorate this cake. So everything is just pinned in place to see how it looks. It's a bit wonky, but we don't care. This material is very easy to... 
pin, so that's a good thing. We're going to use this to our advantage. I'm going to make much more of the trim, but maybe use the smaller bit so I have the big, the small, so it might make it more interesting. This, I just love this, this is so much fun. But I think this size is better, so I will make a few of those with the cherry. And also I want to make more decoration on the bottom because if I make it all with this, it might be too heavy for the crinoline. So I should make something with this to go on the bottom, but this is really hard to control, so I do what I can. And also I will add a few vertical trim to hide my ugly seams. <laughs> I might also add another bone in the two boning channels so it is stronger and will support the weight of all this cream. But this is so much fun, I mean how ridiculous, it is awesome! And here I'm just testing which kind of glue I should use to add them. This is the same material and this is a contact cement, we'll see. The silicone doesn't stick to the bag and it's nice because I only have four bags. This is kind of satisfying. We have a plan. I have to make all the foam pieces separate, do a bunch of trim, and this crisscross that I've seen on a lot of the Moschino dress, I'm going to do directly on the dress. Hopefully I will not mess it up. <laughs> we'll see. So let's just do a bit of calculation on how much I need and let's start cooking. This is starting to smooth out and if you go back in time, they get really smooth. <laughs> I also added a little something under each one so they have a slight curve like this and they will fit on the skirt a little better. Nice! They are done! Awesome. <laughs> Before attaching all this cream, I'm just making sure that my lining is very secure. Doing that with a bunch of hand stitching on the neckline, the waist and around the zipper. Whoa! This was a mess. <laughs> The thing exploded, it's way thicker than cream so I had to press pretty hard and the plastic ripped in a few places so I was just trying to do some emergency sealing with my hands, it was just terrible. <laughs> you can see where the accident started to happen and when I was just struggling with my life to keep it together. <laughs> At the end I'm just like, whatever. I can't put the dress flat, so I'm going to do the grid in sections. Hopefully it will work if it's uh, horizontal. Okay, so this is supposed to dry in six hours. It's only been three, but it's, it's still a bit flexible, but I don't think it will be that much more when it's fully dry compared to this one, which is just perfect. Anyone gave me so much trouble and I'm not even sure that I, I can use them, which is a bit disappointing. I could have saved myself a lot of cleaning up <laughs> if I didn't use that. Uh. This color just screams insulation foam, so I'm going to change that. Adding some gesso to the paint so it covers better. It's kind of a primer, it's very useful. Covering canvases before painting, but I just want to make just one layer, so I'm going to mix it with the paint. a bit of this liquid paint left and with the small trimming a failure maybe I will try something. Uh, it reads a bit like body fluid so no let's not do that. Mm -hmm. 
So let's finally add all the trim to the dress. And as I'm editing this, I am helplessly watching her use the wrong bottle for gluing the trim. <sighs> ah, she switched to the right product. But this bottle is expired and it's not going to work either. This makes me want to scream to the screen, but I just have to witness in horror many wasted hours. Uh, no, don't do that. No, I made a mistake and I used the wrong product on the first row of gluing the thing and now it's coming off. Uh, I have to redo it. I'm getting really worried on the gold king that I used yesterday. It's not fully dry yet and it's been 16 hours. Uh, please don't stay sticky. I'm realizing that the thing that I'm using, it's new, but it's from 2017. Maybe that's why it doesn't dry very well. Uh, I'll give it one more day to see if it dries and then maybe I have to rip everything off and it's going to be stained. Uh, and I don't know if you can see, it's not a shadow, there is this sort of wetness here, here. I'm afraid the chemicals are separating. Uh. The tests that I did for the other bottle worked so well. Test every glue, every product, everything on every type of material before you use it, because it will save you a lot of time and a lot of tears in the end. Let's just keep going and add the cherries. Also, if this doesn't work, I might have a plan B. Eh? <laughs> no. Maybe? No. Okay, I don't know yet if I will be able to wear it, but how fun. <laughs> So back to the first test pieces that I had made. I think this wasn't so bad and I should have enough left in here. There were many first tries on this product, but we keep on going. While we wait for that to dry, let's work on the shoes. They are kind of old but still functional, but they are so uncomfortable. I cannot wear them more than one hour. So I don't really mind turning them into something else. It's been two days and it's not dry. Ripping all this was painful but necessary. The silicone trims were still very usable, so I just had to clean them up and then use the right product. Carefully scrapping the excess product, which of all... Qu'est-ce qu'il y a? Mais oui, d'accord. Sorry about that. Uh, this is not my cat. So this damn product, of course, stained the dress. It's terrible, but we are way too far to let go now. I think this might be the most imperfect project that I've ever presented in video. Usually when it gets too bad, I just scrap them because I just don't want to see them anymore. <laughs> but here, I guess it's okay. It's, it's just a cake. The fact that it is supposed to look like food, so not perfectly perfect, makes it okay. This is uh, eight days of work because I had to leave things to dry and everything but I think if I had to remake it I could do it in two days maybe three if I want to make it fancy I still think we have achieved the results and it is absolutely hilarious as a dress so on that note I'm going to make a very stupid reveal let's do it kind of a birthday video so if you like it you can send it to someone you like and if you don't like it you can send it to someone you don't like that way everybody wins allez bisous Happy birthday! Happy birthday! It's my birthday! Happy birthday!
cumpleaños. Shengri Kaila, Sretan Rojandan, Aidu Miladin Saidan, Te Felicitier, Maligaya Parawan, Te Vashun de Makaiba, Alles Gute zum Geburtstag, Feliz Aniversario. Bueno, si te es nada, te han hecho una rama y se van a colantar juntos, o tan yo y yo me de todo. Wszystkiego najlepszego z okazji urodzin. Karumena Jemetia. Dziana Dzięki Szukama. Heli Jasuku Jakuzaliła. Pytanie Mendele. Zmęma Rodzenia. Czuknąłem Sygnaty.